Hello, how are you today? I am Flash Isaac and I'll be taking you through laws of logarithm. I've already introduced you to logarithm and I established that logarithm means how many times you have to multiply a particular number to get a number number. If I say log 2 to be 8, it means how many times do I need to multiply 2 to get 8? Or how many of 2 is found in 8? In that case, when we say 2 times 2 times 2 is equals 8, that means if we multiply 2 into 3 times or 2 or 3 times, we get 8. Or 8 contains 3, 2. So this means log 8 to base 2 is equals 3. And I told you if you are giving just log, let's say log 100 without base, take it to be 10. Because normally, calculator or another standard assumes base 10. So this is log 10 100 this is equals 2 because we have 2 10 in 100 or we multiply 10 in two places to get 100 10 times 10 is equals 100 so today i'll be taking you through loss of logarithm so in logarithm what are the laws we need to follow what rules apply so that's what i'm going to teach you right now so take a look at the laws of logarithm. I present to you the seven laws of logarithm. The first rule is product rule. It states that if you have something like this, let's say log 2 and 20. Recall that if you have log 20 to base with base 2, uh, this is the same thing as log base 2, 5 times 4. Or... 10 times 2 anything you can break down to give you 20 and this is the same thing as log 2 5.4 so we are not here dot is representing multiplication and not a decimal point so this is the same thing as this so this implies that when you have something like this which is equals this log base log base m times n that's multiplication 5 times 4 because we can break 20 down into 5 times 4. This is the same thing as you pick each one, each of the you, you take the base and you add the numbers. This implies that if you have something like this, let's say log base 2, 5 times 4. This is the same thing as log to base 2, 5 plus log to base 2 4 in summary once you have multiplication you can change it to addition what does this also imply this implies that if i'm giving the logarithm question i would say that log 2 5 plus log 2 4 if i'm giving something like this i can change it to multiplication by uh, since the bases are the same i will pick one so log Two, and since it's addition i'll multiply the logs so i'll simply say uh, five times four so this is the same thing as log two base 20. so that's the first law of uh, logarithm the second rule of logarithm is the quotient rule it's just about division so when you have division you can change it to subtraction so you have log to a base and they are dividing. Let's say I have log 2 uh, and 8 divided by 4. So in this case, uh, this is the log, this is the base, where b is equals to m is equals 8, n is equals 4. So it can be any number. So if I have something like this, it is the same thing as log b, you take log to base where the base is 2 m which is the numerator 8 minus log to base 2 of the denominator 4 so that's how we change division to subtraction division to so and subtraction relates in logarithm in this way so log 2 8 over 4 the same thing as log 2 log 8 with base 2 minus log 4 with base 2 so we take this this and this minus we take this, this, and this. So if you solve this or you solve this, you get the same answer. What does this tell you? 
if we also have log 2 8 minus log 2 4 so if i give you something like this you can also change it to this form by taking the log since the bases are the same then you pick this 8 so because it is division it means it's dividing so you divide by 4 so you can put it this in this form and this in that form that is the second law of logarithm quotient rule then the third rule here is the power power rule look at it you say if you have log to a base so let me still continue with my base as two so let's say i have log to base let's say two or you, you can be want us to change it let's say okay 10 log to base 10 and uh, m so m is any value let's take m as 100 raised to the power of k so k can also be any value let's k be 2 so this is uh, similar to this is the same b is equals 10 m is equals 100 k is equals 2 so it can be any value when you see a log, a log reading question in this form so this is base this log 100 to base 2 but this log uh, itself is squared or it has power so according to the law of log reading once you have something like this simply bring this power here and leave the other stuff to be the same so this implies that here is log 10 100 2 this is 2 log 100 to base 10 so if you have log 2 8 raised to the power of 2 this is simply 2 log 8 and log 8 to base 2 is 3 so this is the same thing as 2 times everything here is 3 3 is equals 6 so that is the third law of logarithm the power rule uh, the first law is zero rule zero rule means that once you have log to any base greater than zero log one to any base greater than zero is equals zero so if you have log two log let's uh, log one to base two will give you zero log one to base five is equals zero log 25 to base one is equals zero so long the base this is the base so long it's greater than one and log one to any base greater than one would give you zero so that is the zero rule of log reading then look at this identity rule identity rule is this that once you have any log to a base and the uh, number and the base are the same then your answer is one so if you have log 10 is one so log 10 base 10 is one log 5 base 5 is equals 1 log 100 base 1 log 3 to base 3 is 1 log 4 with base 4 is equals 1 so that's identity rule of log reading so look at what this log of exponents talks about if you have let's say log 2 this is the base then 2 raised to the power of 4 so something like this so we have this log here and here are the same the base and the number are the same but the power may be different what you do is simply remove this the power is your answer so log 3 3 raised to the power of 4 is equals 4 since the this and the base are the same the power is your answer then rule 7 is the exponent of log so it says that look at it it said b raised to the power of log b k is equals k so this is b this is b so once this a value and this log is in the base once they are the same your value will be this k so if you have uh, 5 log to base 5 of 10 this and this are the same so your answer is simply 10 so in my next video i will solve a lot of questions applying this rule so to help you understand the rules better 
and also i advise you go over this video again to understand the rules the product rule cushion rule power rules and other rules of log reading so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to flash learners youtube channel to get notifications of my amazing videos